Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Play to Airdrop, basically a progression on Play to Earn that is very popular in the gaming Web3 space right now. If you just want to jump ahead to what games you can play, earn some tokens today, go ahead and skip ahead. I'll put timestamps down below, but I'm going to rant a little bit first of all on what are the implications and what exactly is Play to Airdrop. Now, if you're a game out there and you're actually running your own play to airdrop campaign or trying to design one right now, I'm advising a few games on how they can do exactly that. So if you'd like to reach out to me, I have email or you can go and hit me up on Twitter as well. What is play to airdrop? Well, play to airdrop is essentially a progression on play to earn. That's the way I look at it. Airdrops have been popular in Web3 for a long time. Sometimes they can be a valuable form of marketing. In other times, it is a wasted effort, a waste of your tokens. But essentially, in the play to airdrop, what you're doing is you're playing the game and then you're receiving airdrops of the tokens. And this makes a lot of sense from the gaming perspective when you think about it. The way traditional airdrops have been run in the past, they usually go along with things like new chains or DeFi, where if you do some activity on chain you're incentivized for that with gamings up till now we've seen tokens go to holders of the nfts you buy the nft you hold it and you get some tokens in the future now that doesn't make a lot of sense when we're looking at games because you actually want people to play your game what they're doing is something like this they have their nft holders and these are your early supporters these are the guys who invested in you believe in you contribute to the community so you have to give them some kind of token incentive some kind of airdrop right so you airdrop part of your tokens to them but then you have a game so you actually want players you want people to test out the game because this not only gives you players but it's valuable metrics and valuable data that you can use as you improve the game talk to vcs raise series a's etc and so you want to incentivize these players that maybe they can't afford an nft especially when some of the floor prices spike up so it's nice to give airdrops to people that just come in and play the game with no nfts and then what you do is you incentivize your nft holders by giving them bonuses so maybe the normal players get one x and the NFT holders who are playing get their normal airdrop. And then if they're playing as well, they get a little bonus on their playing for holding an NFT. In this way, you incentivize your NFT holders to play the game. You reward the ones who aren't playing the game. And then you also get in players who won't be discouraged because they don't have an NFT and they just want to play for free. They want to try out your game and they get some airdrop. Now, the interesting thing about airdrops is they don't have an actual solid value. It's not like play to earn where you have a token, you can look at the price and you can say, hey, I earn this many tokens a day. That's $5 a day you can't do that with airdrops because it's more speculative i think one of the things it does is it brings in players that are a little bit less financially driven and a little bit more risk on probably because these are players that are willing to play your game in hopes of future value they're not players that can look at it right now and see oh i can make five dollars today i'm going to play this it's kind of looking at it and they really have to believe in the game long term or at least the hype of the game to think that these tokens are going to have value and they'll play your game and this brings me to another point of as we're seeing so many games in the space go this play to airdrop route there's only so many web3 gamers in the space right there's only a handful of gamers that actually care about tokens getting tokens because web2 gamers don't really care if your game's fun they'll come in if it's not they won't with this finite number of players and so many games offering these play to airdrops we're actually seeing a bit of a sensation where there's a race to the bottom in a certain way and so the airdrops that are perceived as bigger perceived as more likely to succeed and this is going to be the games that have a lot of hype or probably the most funding are going to be seen as the ones that snatch up most of the web3 players when we have a bunch of games simultaneously going with play to airdrops and the other thing that i need to mention is because of the last year year and a half of the bear market most games have delayed their tokens so for some games there's no option of the play to earn we've seen before because they don't have tokens released they've been delaying their tokens so play to airdrop is a very good way to get players in right now even though they haven't launched a token yet and then some of these games i'm sure will switch to a more traditional play to earn model where by playing the game you'll get tokens just verbatim right away but they don't have a token released yet which is why they have this airdrop I'd love to see some more implications that you guys as the audience feel that I've missed. Let me know down in the comments how you think play to airdrop is changing from play to earn and how this is going to affect the players in the Web3 space. Okay, now let's shift gears and let's talk about some games. First of all, the first game I want to mention, even though the airdrop segment is over, is Pixels. Pixels Online has basically blown up this whole play to airdrop thing by gaining a lot of users through this type of marketing, through this new form of rewarding players. Now, for those of you who don't know, Pixels Online is essentially an open world farming game that has recently moved over to the Ronin network and has been quite successful with their initial launch campaign with the move to Ronin. 
And what they did is they launched this play to airdrop campaign. And in essence, they got over 100,000 daily active users in the month of November while they were doing this campaign that recently ended. And now the team has come out and said they think that about 30,000 of these are bots, but they believe 70,000 of them are real players. And those are pretty significant numbers, which is one of the reasons this whole airdrop token thing is becoming very popular. And so without further ado, let's talk about some games that you could play right now if you wanted to earn some tokens for the future. The first one I want to mention is Kuroro Beasts. Kuroro Beasts is essentially an RPG. They have two different games, but essentially it's an RPG inspired by Pokemon with that same kind of pixel feel that we just talked about with Pixels Online. And what they're doing is they're airdropping 10% of their tokens to NFT stakers, and then they're airdropping 7% of their tokens to players. This is what I talked about before, where you divide it up and you reward both your loyal holders and the people who are just playing for free and testing out your game. And then of course there's rewards when your token holders are doing both. And this is a game that moves from Polygon over to Arbitrum, over to the treasure ecosystem, and has been getting a lot of attention because just this week they launched their Play 2 airdrop campaign. It's very easy to get started. You can jump right in, connect your wallet, and start playing two of their game modes. And they have a dashboard where you can see as you level up your airdrop meter, you're going to essentially get more tokens down the road. So if you want a game you can play right now to try and earn some airdrops, go and check out Kuroro Beast. Another game you can play right now, and this is one that popped up very recently and has been getting a lot of hype, and this is Play Cambria. Play Cambria and their game Play Degen Arena. You can go on right now, sign in, start playing. It's essentially a fully on-chain version of RuneScape. That's how I would describe it. Once again, pixelated. This is, this is a theme we're seeing at the moment. It's basically a rock, paper, scissors mechanic where you challenge someone to a duel and then you spam the attack button and you switch what kind of attack you're using and then you get bonuses based on the rock, paper, scissors system. What's very interesting about this game is you can bet ETH on each of your battles and the winner takes all. And so this has been getting a lot of hype. Last week when I talked about it on our WolvesDAO Alpha call, they had like 500 followers on Twitter and now they have like 8,000 because a few people actually came up and made like a hundred grand by wagering ETH against each other. And so there's been some very big winners on this game, which of course is gathering a lot of attention. The airdrop element comes in where you're earning points to a future token airdrop. And so the game is on base. You basically just have to sign up, sign in a wallet, and then you can run around the universe, check what it's all about and play the game. You can challenge people for free so you can practice. But if you actually want to earn some money and earn the airdrop, you have to wager some ETH. Now the game is on base, which means you'll have to bridge some ETH to the base ecosystem. You can use MetaMask just fine. And then when you battle someone, you offer a wager, they can counter, and you don't have to play for huge stakes. Some people are playing for like an ETH stakes, but you can play for a couple dollars. And then if you win or lose, you'll earn tokens towards a future airdrop. And so that's what I'm doing at the moment, just playing the game with some very low stakes in order to earn a bit of points so I might get a token airdrop in the future. Well, it's confirmed you'll get a token in the future, but we don't know what the value of that airdrop will be. And then if you really get into it and you really enjoy it, you can actually play to earn by betting some of your friends and taking their ETH because it actually is luck based with a little bit of skill. It's not entirely luck based, but if you go and check it out or watch some videos, you'll see what I mean. And they're building on a lot of other aspects that look interesting, reminds me of runescape feel, right? The wagering against each other is the earning mechanic, but there's a lot of other underlying elements to this game. And I think we're gonna see it expand a lot as time goes on. Cause like I said, it just launched its test net and it's pretty new. The other game you can play right now that I'm gonna give a very quick shout out to is My Angry Yakuza Girlfriend. Their CEO, Sinjin, is in the Wolves DAO. Great guy, very funny guy in the space, very knowledgeable about gaming, very active in the Web3 community. And they are building a social game where you basically, in the nightclub, run around and try and take out your opponents who happen to be other angry Yakuza girlfriends. It's a social game and I've played it and it is rather fun. For a while now, they've been promising airdrop tokens to the alpha testers and they open up testing every now and again. So it's a game that you can play now and keep an eye out on if you actually wanna maybe get some tokens in the future. Moving along, let's talk a little bit about some of the top games you should be looking at that are going to be doing play to airdrop soon. There's only a few you can play right now. 
but there's a lot of them that have said they're going to launch play to airdrop campaigns very close in the next six months and so as more and more of these games start to launch these play to airdrop campaigns you're going to have to be very picky about which ones you dedicate your time to unless you have 12 hours a day to play web 3 video games which some of us do but i personally don't so some of the ones that i'm going to be keeping the closest eye on are the following the first of which is Infinigods. Infinigods is a game and a studio, and the team is building three mobile games based around some of the top grossing genres for mobile games. One of them is a tower defense, one of them is puzzles, and one of them is a luck battling game. They're very strong in live ops, and they have a lot of experience with casino games and targeting gamblers, which is a very perfect mix for their luck battle game, King of Destiny. This is a game that's been getting a lot of hype, a lot of the wolves in Wolves Tower are very excited for this game. I've talked to the team a few times. They're a very strong team. And I think this game has a very strong chance of succeeding from my point of view. They're essentially taking existing mobile game model and they're improving it slightly with blockchain without trying to do anything too crazy. So I do think it's one of the ones that when they launch a play to airdrop, which they said they're going to do, you should definitely jump on that. Whether or not you have the NFTs, you should be able to earn just by playing the game. But if you have the NFTs, even better. They've recently pumped up, so you may not want to buy them at this price, but definitely something to keep an eye on. Another game that's talked about play to airdrop is Shrapnel. Now, I don't think I need to say too much about Shrapnel. We've talked about this on the channel. We've mentioned them many times, and they're one of the most hype Web3 games. So I assume you probably know about them if you're familiar with this space. They are an extraction shooter that is aiming to be a triple A shooter game, similar to the likes of Escape from Tarkov, with more of a creator element going alongside. They recently raised $20 million and they have a very strong team. So they have the team, they have the funding, they have the hype. If they do the play to airdrop that they've said they're going to, this is one definitely to play. Now, they just had a lawsuit filed internally with some of the team. There's some things going on in the background that could change the narrative, but I still think that they're very strong and definitely one you should be watching to play when you can be playing later this year. The other upcoming game I think you should really have high on your radar is MapleStory. MapleStory Universe from the MapleStory IP has rumors that they're going to do a play to airdrop campaign. I don't believe they've actually been officially confirmed, but they've been hinted at. And so that to me with this kind of IP is worth keeping an eye on. MapleStory, originally released in 2003 by Korean gaming giant Nexon, is a MMORPG free to play side scroller. They came out in 2003 and there's been several renditions of the game since and they have a lifetime value of something like 4 billion USD. One of the biggest Web 2 IP that's coming into Web 3 and that alone will give it enough hype to be hugely massive if they were to do a play to airdrop campaign, which is why I think you should be following their socials. They've been a little bit quiet lately. As long as they continue, I think this is another one that should be very high up on your gotta play this one to try and get tokens as you see many games launch their play to airdrop campaigns. Moving on to a couple like honorable mentions. These are ones I've seen lately that I'll be keeping an eye on, but they won't be like the first game I play. One of them is Saga, which is actually a blockchain that's been focusing more on gaming lately. They raised about three and a half million dollars. They are well funded. Their CEO, Rebecca, this is her second chain that she's co-founded. And the first chain, Skew Chain, got to something like five billion annual volume. So very successful chain from this team that's now launching another one. They're focusing on some games. I've seen the list of games that have committed to them, but I don't believe that's public yet. So you'll have to do some research for yourself to look into this, but they do have a handful of games that are going to be launching tournaments and testing and they have verified that their test nets are going to be rewarding players with airdrops so far it's basically entirely playing from the chains perspective they don't have an nft for you to hold so players who test the games that are launching on the network are going to get airdrops and so i think it's an easy one to earn a big portion of the airdrops if you're just a gamer and not an nft holder because the details are early, some of the games launching on them do have NFTs, and I'm sure there will be some interaction with that. But this is also an opportunity where you might be able to get chain tokens and a game token by playing a game on their chain, which is why it's a very big honorable mention for me and something that I think you should watch out for. 
Another honorable mention is Oh Baby Games. They are launching a kart racing game. They raised about $6 million in the past. It's one of the games that does have a fair amount of hype in Web3. I haven't played it myself because nothing quite compares to Mario Kart for me. I'm not a big racing fan game in general, but I have heard good things about it. And they have a rumor that they're going to do a play to airdrop campaign as well. So this is another one that you can keep an eye on that has a lot of hype that could do well if they follow through and do this play to airdrop campaign. And then finally, just going to list off three more games that I've heard have play to airdrop games coming that I don't know a lot about, but I'll put links down in the descriptions too, so you can go and do your own research. You can add them to your watch list if you want. And these would be Animalia, Halls of Olympia, and Hypertopia. Those are three games I'm familiar with in the Web3 space, don't know them too well, but I've seen people confirm that they are going to do play to airdrop. So it's another three games upcoming you can add to your list. But as we progress, we are going to see a lot more of these. There's already a lot of rumors flying around and a lot of companies that are talking about this in the background that I know about. So we may have to do an update video soon where we go over some more games that are announcing play to airdrops. But let me know how I can make those future videos more useful with some comments down below. Thank you guys all for watching this video and I'll see you again soon with another one. Have a great week.